Hey everybody, it's your pal Mike Zombie, and this week we're going to talk about Die You Zombie Bastards from 2005. Okay, I sound out of it, and I know I do. There's an explanation. I promise this is the truth. I'm looking at the, the clock on my computer right now. It is 4.16 a.m. on Friday, West Coast time. Yesterday was Thanksgiving, and I just got back from Black Friday shopping. Scored a couple of nice deals. And I'm not a Black Friday shopper, but there was something I had to get, and it was obtained. So, mission accomplished. Early this week, I was fortunate enough to do a zombie mob with McPierce, Zombie Farmer, and me. It was fantastic. We had a fuckload of fun. We really did. And you should definitely check that out at the Zombie Mob. And that combined with being the Thanksgiving week and the fact that I have to cook and do all this other crap. And I was really short on time and wasn't sure what I was going to do. I hadn't decided this week. And what do you know? We receive a phone call from a friend, a podcasting friend from our buddy Vaughn at Motion Picture Massacre. And I've done a uh, zombie mob with Vaughn as well. And he was a fantastic host. And I do like his show very much. And let me see if I got this queued up right. Here's his call. You have 113 new messages. Oh, my. Uh, yeah, I was just wondering, uh, mm, well, where the newspaper boy was. <coughs> Haven't seen a newspaper in a couple of days. Wondering if you ever gonna come back. <coughs> Guess who? Sorry to leave you so many messages. Just lonely here, thinking about the muscle on paper boy. Wishing he'd come by and bring me some good news. So, how are you guys? Hey, yeah, yeah, Vaughn. Um, really enjoying the show. One thing I want to ask, though, is a request for my comedy. Is, um, is a film called, uh, uh, oh, Die You Zombie Factors. Yeah. Well, you know, I know Mike's probably got a big old list of crap he's going to check out, but I wish you could, I hope you could add that film to it. Um, because he's talking about Bob and the Dead this week. I was extremely blown away by it. It's kind of too shitty for us overall, but whatever. That's just my opinion. Vaughn, buddy, this is for you. Listen up, everyone! You instant make a request. Instant request! Instant request. <laughs> So I found a website that was streaming this movie, and I thought, well, this is really handy because Netflix, I'm going to have to wait for it and everything else. It's not on instant viewable download anymore. So I got that together and had a downloader running on it, tucked it aside. I was all ready to watch at my convenience because, you know, I hate streaming things because, you know, wait, three seconds of footage, wait, buffering. Oh, look, the shirt's almost up, buffering. Yeah, good God, really? I don't have time for this kind of crap. So I had it all ready to go, and I'm watching it. And I, I'm like, okay, all right, this movie's kind of, wow, really slapsticky, kind of silly. Oh, the acting is. I kind of laughed and got annoyed at the same time. It's low budget, but not the lowest that I've seen. I mean, they had some, it looked like a few decent cameras on this shoot. And we see a spaceship come down and land in a rice field. And some guy who looks like Darth Vader kind of jumps out. And people are running. And they do all these cut scenes where they're jumping around. Suddenly there's some uh, guy with a sickle in his hand and he's walking around to lop people's heads off and this is disjointed because there's no real context behind it and he comes up on a car with people fucking and he's going to kill them both and she goes i love you to the guy and he he, he, and he the killer turns he goes oh she loves him and then he smiles and sits down and he's all happy but then suddenly that same guy at a cut scene appears in front of a bunch of campers smoking dope and hacks all their heads off it's just like cut scene after cut scene of people we don't know and the acting is intentionally really bad. I mean, it's not like they're just, uh, you know, they're they're just having trouble getting the. No, they're they're purposefully acting shitty and saying things with really odd inflection. You know, oh no, don't kill me! I need to drink some champagne. Shut up! What the fuck is this? I'm just trying to get a grab on it, and it's just going from cutscene to cutscene. And finally, thank God, we got some boobies. We end up on Devil's Island or Hell's Island. I have no idea. Three beautiful young, I guess, scientists slash archaeologists slash strippers are on some type of quest to find some half man half fish thing with a giant dick <laughs> I, w I wish i was kidding folks i'm not they find a petrified bone that what do you know is in the shape of uh, some type of phallus which w looks a, an appropriate size to impregnate a uh, clydesdale so so they're running around doing really horrible acting but this isn't just a cut scene this is like where the film really gets running they're like Oh my gosh, I hope we find the, this man who's half fish and the other girl. I know. 
it would mean a lot to the community of scientists. I'm oh, <laughs> watch this. And all the time I'm thinking, all right, this is Vaughn's suggestion. Vaughn, you, t- you told that there must be some payoff here. Vaughn said, and sure enough, the payoff. Six boobs, gloriously displayed for no reason, uh, which... Hey, and we don't need a reason. That was fine. So then they go back to the cut scenes. There's this weird couple and they're cannibals. You know, they're sitting with each other and they're eating people's faces and they're like being really silly with what they say and overly dramatic. And this movie, besides the boobs, was not for me at all. I don't mind stupid films. Believe me, Kentucky Fried Movie is one of my favorite, you know, laps of all time. It's tough to get dumber than that. Okay. But this was just disjointed, purposeful bad acting. Uh, okay. Oh, and, and keep in mind, we we're only about 30 minutes into this film. They, oh God, I forget. And I just watched this last night. It was that forgettable. The cannibal guy takes his I, wife or fiance, girlfriend. I, I don't even know if they ever did dis- disclose that out for a picnic. And in the picnic basket is someone's severed head. And they're being silly and eating the face and he's eating the eyes and they're sharing the brains and uh, grossing out a family sitting next to them with their kids eating. Not eating the kids, sorry, just eating their food. And he's like, my goodness, I forgot the champagne. And he jumps up and runs back to their trailer and she gets abducted by this devil guy who came out of the spaceship who's got the giant dick. I don't know. Redneck comes back, gets in a fight with one of his minions who turns into a puff of smoke and gets a note that she's been abducted. And he goes to the police and this cop says, oh, you need to go see this Jamaican man and he'll get this shit fixed. And he went to the Jamaican guy and he's in a bathtub and they're talking about it. And it his character reminds me a lot of Dave Chappelle when he's pretending to be the Jamaican guy half-baked. That part fucking made me laugh a lot. So um, I had one good laugh during this film up to this point and saw some boobs. So it wasn't a complete waste, but it was pretty close. In the middle of this guy's speech... All of a sudden, the uh, the film crashes. I'm like, yeah, okay, it must be my player. So I restart. No, wait a minute. So this is a corrupt file. So I go back and I try to jump and it can't access anything past 34, 34 or 35 minutes. So I have seen 35 minutes of Die You Zombie Bastards and it's Friday morning. I have to go to work and I have to, I try to get everything to Daryl like Thursday or Friday. So I don't have time to watch another movie, do another review. You know, this has got to be, he's got to put this together tonight for you guys for tomorrow. So I'm going to because Vaughn did suggest it. I'm going to do the mail away Netflix and get a hard copy of this and I will watch it start to finish because it was his suggestion and I do appreciate suggestions and wish you guys would send them in and Vaughn give me more ideas man anything I can get I'm watching. So far I do not like this film. Let's <laughs> be honest. It's just to and I can take a dumb plot but you know uh, purposefully dumb plots that are purposely acted horribly just so we have an excuse to show boobs every now and then. No, let's be honest, made this country great. I don't know. I'll watch it, but for now I have to give you a 35-minute review, and at that point I'm going to say it's not not worth your watch. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Um, check out our zombie mob. It was three hours of just of 10 minutes about the film and almost three hours of just us having fun bullshitting and cracking jokes. <laughs> I would definitely suggest checking that out. And as always, thanks for checking us out here on A Little Dead. Since I did have the error and not able to complete Vaughn's film, I'm going to finish the rest of my time here with a song. A song near and dear to my heart that kind of strikes at the heart of the, the problem I'm having. So, until next week, see ya.